Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is dedicated to photographers and videographers and cinematographers everywhere. The man behind the camera filming this very class has informed me of all the aches and pains and the places in the body that hold tension while um, holding heavy equipment, carrying around cameras, having things around your neck, etc., etc. So the focus of this class, whether you you are a photographer or not, it doesn't matter, um, is going to be uh, lots of squats, low back and hips, and upper back and shoulders. So lots of eagle arm variations to stretch out um, the upper back. So we are going to start today in a seated position. So ground your sitting bones down on the floor, reach up through the crown of your head, and then roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. So you have a nice long spine. You can have your eyes open or closed. If your eyes are open, find a steady place to gaze out in front of you. Rest your hands face down on your knees. Fingers are relaxed. And we're going to start with three deep breaths. So breathe in through your nose. Hold it at the top. Let it go through your mouth. Close your lips, breathe in through your nose. Let this inhale lengthen your spine, reaching through the crown of your head, lifting your energy up, and your exhale ground you into this space and this time that you've dedicated to yourself on your mat. One more inhale and exhale here. Continue with your deep breathing in and out through your nose, and we're gonna to begin to warm up the spine in all directions. So as you breathe in, lift your arms up overhead. As you breathe out, come off to the left for a side bend, reaching your arm up and across your body. You can gaze down at the floor or up at the ceiling. Just keep your shoulder right in line with your hips, so you're just getting this stretch through the side. Come back to center, reaching both arms up overhead, and then come off to the right. Reach your left arm up and across. Keep your left shoulder right in line with your left hip, and a gaze wherever is comfortable for your neck. Breathe in, come back to center. As you breathe out, bring your hands behind your back. We're gonna take a chest expansion, opening the front of our body, so press your fists down toward your mat, lift your chin up. And then as you breathe out, you can start to hinge forward from your hips, reaching your hands up and over the back of your head, releasing your forehead in the direction of the floor. And feel that stretch in your low back and the opening in your shoulders at the same time. Come back to center, releasing your hands on the way. And then from here, bring your hands out in front of you, interlace your fingers, flip your palms so they're facing outward. Stretch your hands forward. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears, so avoid hunching your shoulders up by your ears. And then bring your hands back, touch the palms of your hands together, and then just make some circles in one direction and some circles in the opposite direction. All right, now release your grip and then reach your arms up overhead. We're gonna take eagle arms. So we're gonna do a lot of eagle arms in this class. This is our first one. You're gonna take your right arm underneath your left. Okay, so option one, take opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Option two, take the backs of your hands to touch. Option three, bring the palms of your hands to touch in front of your face. Okay, whatever is accessible to you is just fine. You wanna feel a stretch in your upper back and a release in your shoulder, so you're stretching your neck as well. So from here, just lift your elbows up, feel the difference in the stretch in your upper back in this variation. 
And then draw your elbows down and in. Feel the lengthening of the sides of your neck. Alrighty. Unwind, reach your arms up. Just release that side and let's take the opposite side. So bring your left arm underneath your right. Pops the hand to shoulder, backs of the hands touching or wrapping your hands around your wrists to touch the palms of your hands in front of your face. Continue with your deep breathing. Okay, lift your elbows up. And bring your elbows down and in. Bring your hands a little bit closer to your face. Feel that nice stretch on the side of your neck. Okay, now unwind your arms. Reach your arms up overhead. Let's take a twist. So bring your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind. Maybe look out over your shoulder. Continue with your deep breathing. Come back to center, lifting your arms up overhead for a nice long stretch and then switch sides. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind. Look out over your shoulder. Come back to center, bring your arms up overhead and then just bring your hands back in front of you and then shake out your hands. So loosening up your wrists and your fingers and your forearms. A little bit faster, 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 faster. And release. All right, come into tabletop position. Nice flat back here looking down at your mat. Let's take three rounds of cat and cow. So breathe in, drop your belly, look through the crown of your head and your tailbone, and breathe out, round your spine. So we're warming up and opening up, keep going back and forth, the front side of the body in cow pose and the back side of the body in cat pose. With your breath, one more inhale and exhale. And return to tabletop position. Let's take thread the needle to open the backs of the shoulders. So keep your left hand on your mat, lift your right arm up, look up towards your fingertips and then slide your right arm behind your left. Come on to your right shoulder and your right ear. Keep your hips high, right over your knees, but keep your head heavy as it rests on the mat. Unwind as you breathe in. Release to tabletop as you breathe out. Switch sides. Lift your left arm up. Look up towards your fingertips and then slide your left arm behind your right. Come onto your left shoulder and your left ear. Rest your head heavy here. Keep your hips lifted right over your knees. As you breathe in, Release, lift your left arm all the way up, look up, and then come back to tabletop position. All right, so nice hip opener here. We're gonna move into child's pose. So bring your knees to the outer edges of your mat, bring your toes to touch, bring your hips to your heels, walk your hands forward and rest your forehead down for three breaths here. Listen to the sound of your breath as it flows in and out through your nose. Walk your hands back toward your shoulders. Go ahead and sit up. Bring your knees to touch. Bring your feet wide to the outer edges of your mat and sit your hips between your heels. Okay, so if this is not accessible to you, your knees are feeling tight, your ankles, whatever, you can either sit on your heels. If you have a block or something to sit on, a pillow or a bolster, you can sit that between your um, heels as well. 
So we just want to stretch in our quads and our knees. And bonus, we're going to take um, a neck stretch here. So as you hold, this is called hero pose. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your right hand down toward the floor and bring your left hand on top of your head and bring your ear toward your shoulder. Come back through center. Switch sides. So bring your left hand down to the floor. Bring your right hand to the top of your head. Bring your ear toward your shoulder. Come back to center. Bring both hands to the floor. Bring your chin slightly forward and down toward your chest. Great, great, great stretch here for your upper back and neck. And then we'll just counter pose by lifting the chin up toward the ceiling. So you're opening your throat and your chest. Really press that chin up. And then come back to neutral. All right, we're gonna release from hero pose and come all the way to downward facing dog by spreading the fingers nice and wide, planting the hands on the floor, bringing the heels down toward your mat looking back toward the back of your mat. And then you can pedal out your legs by bending and straightening one leg at a time. You can shake out your head, releasing tension in your neck. All right, if you're pedaling your legs, bring them to stillness, releasing both heels down toward your mat, getting a greater, deeper stretch in the backs of both legs. And then we're gonna take wide-legged low lunge. So lift your right leg up in preparation. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Set it down on the floor. And then release your left knee down onto your mat. Take the top of your foot flat to the floor. Wide-legged low lunge. Sit up nice and tall. So one long, long line in your spine from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Big breath. Okay, we're gonna take this a little bit deeper. So bring your right toes out to an angle. Bring your right hand to your right knee and then press your knee open as you twist in your spine and look past your right knee or maybe back toward the back of your mat. You release from your twist. Bring your right foot back to the floor, your right hand back to your mat. And then if your foot is a little bit further than the edge of your mat, kind of heel toe it back toward the right edge of your mat. Tuck your left toes under, lift your knee, and then step your left foot to the outer edge of your mat and sink into a squat. Okay, we're gonna be doing lots of squats in this practice. Really good for your low back and your hips. You can bring your elbows to your knees, your hands to your heart as you reach up through the crown of your head and sink down through your hips. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your gaze steady. And we're gonna take three more breaths here. Long, slow inhales and exhales. There's discomfort here in this deep, hip and low back opener. Work through it with your breath. All right, we're gonna take wide-legged low lunge on the other side. So bring your hands back to your mat, keep your left foot where it is, and step your right foot back. Release your right knee down onto the floor, top of the foot flat to the floor. Reach up through the crown of your head, shoulders away from your ears, feeling that nice big stretch in your right hip flexor. Now we're gonna take a twist. So your toes are gonna face out at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your left foot as you take your left hand to your knee and press it open. You can look past your left knee or you can look back toward the back of your mat. Deep breaths here. Really intentionally opening up the hips, stretching the fronts and the sides and the backs of the hips. 
All right, now bring your left hand back to your mat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your knee, and step your left foot back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Look towards your hands and walk your feet to the front of your mat. Bend your legs a lot, come into ragdoll. Drape your torso over your thighs, take opposite hand to opposite elbow, let your head hang heavy. You can hold steady here, or you can sway side to side. Similar to downward facing dog, you can bend and straighten one leg at a time. So this is a nice gentle way to open up the backs of the legs. And just let the weight of your head and gravity do its work to lengthen the backside of your body, your entire spine and your neck. All right, one more breath here. Come back to center, release your hands down towards your mat, and then very slowly roll your way up to a standing position. All right, bring your feet to touch, a little bit of a space between your heels, spread your toes nice and wide. On your next breath in, lift your arms up overhead, encircle your left wrist with your right hand, side bend to the right. Come back to center, encircle your right wrist with your left hand and side bend to the left. Come back to center, bring your hands behind your back. We're taking another chest expansion with a forward fold this time. So press your fists down toward the floor, lift your chin, hinge from your hips and forward fold over both legs. Just like we did when we were seated, you're gonna bring your Hands a little bit closer toward the floor. It's okay if they're just barely off your hips, that's totally fine. The point of this posture is to open the chest and the shoulders, and then bonus, you're getting a hamstring stretch as well. Okay. On your next breath in, release your hands, come up to a halfway lift. So nice flat back, looking down at the floor. As you exhale, forward fold, plant your hands on your mat. Step back to high plank pose. Hold here in high plank for three. You can always take your knees to the floor for two and one. Now shift your weight forward, shoulders past your wrists, lower all the way down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your hands where they are. Inhale. Cobra, low lift cobra, peel your chest up off the floor. Exhale, release. Two more with your breath. Inhale, low lift cobra. Exhale, release. This time, inhale, low lift cobra and pause. Take your hands up off of your mat. So strengthening those muscles in the upper back while well, your entire back really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades toward one another. Now take your hands, reach them back toward the back of your mat. Your palms are facing down, so engage your triceps. See if you can lift a little bit higher while you reach for the back of your mat. And then one last option, if you'd like, you can lift your feet up off the floor and hold here. For three, and two, and one. Release your feet if they're lifted. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up, high plank, press back, downward facing dog. All right, let's open up the front of the hip. So lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. Hold here for one more full inhale. And exhale. Level out your hips, straighten your right leg. Step your right foot between your hands for low lunge pose. On your next breath in, come up to crescent lunge, lifting your arms straight up toward the ceiling, relaxing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Take another inhale here. Now on your exhale, you're gonna bring your right arm underneath your left for eagle arms. So again, whatever variation is accessible to you, take that now. We're gonna take this into a small back bend. So lift your elbows up and then lean back and look up.
All right, so your release is warrior two. You're gonna unwind your arms, lower your back heel to your mat, open up your arms, palms face down, gaze out across your front fingertips for one more breath. Reverse warrior, slide your left hand down your left leg, put your right arm up and back, and then come back to low lunge, lifting your left heel up, step back to high plank, shift forward, lower halfway or all the way down. So chaturanga is halfway down. Upward facing dog as you breathe in, press back to downward facing dog. Let's open up the front of the hip on the other side. So as you breathe in, lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your leg, keep your shoulders level. So your left shoulder in line with your right shoulder, that usually means bringing your left shoulder down and back if it has hiked up. Now straighten your left leg, level out your hips, look past your hands, bring your left foot between your hands for low lunge. Keep your back heel lifted, bring both arms up overhead for crescent lunge. Okay, we're gonna take eagle arms. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Again, whatever arm variation is accessible to you, you just wanna feel that stretch in your upper back. We're gonna turn this into a back bend. So lift your elbows up, look up, lean back. Transition to warrior two. Unwind your arms, lower your back heel to your mat. Look out across your front fingertips. Big breath in and out. Reverse warrior, slide your right hand down your right leg. Stretching through your left side, come all the way back to low lunge. Lift your back heel up off your mat. Step back, high plank. Lower halfway down or all the way down. Low lift cobra or upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you take your next deep inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, eagle arms. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. So straighten your right leg, slide your left hand down your back leg, and then exhale, triangle pose. Bringing your right hand to your shin, or the floor, or a block, bring your left arm up. Maybe look up. <clears throat> Inhale to five-pointed star. Toes point out, palms face out, fingers spread wide. Exhale, prayer squat. Bring your hands to your heart, sink down. So we're getting this nice opening in the hips, inner thighs, back and we're strengthening at the same time. <clears throat> so it can feel intense as we hold the pose, but you're getting the stretch and the strength at the same time. So from here, lift your right heel up, hold it, strengthening your ankle and your calf, release. Lift your left heel up, release. Lift both heels up, stretching your balance here, working the bottoms of both feet. Release both heels back down onto your mat. Lift your arms up to star, but keep your legs bent in prayer squat. And then exhale, bring your right arm underneath your left. Eagle arms, inhale, lift your arms up. And opposite side, left arm underneath right, eagle arms, lift your arms up. 
bring your hands to your knees. We're really working here in the hips, core, low back. Now sink a little bit further into your squat and look to the front of your mat. So dipping your shoulder down, twisting your spine, opening your inner thighs a little bit further. Come back to center and switch sides. Look at the back of your mat. Dip your shoulder in. Come back to center, bring your shoulders back over your hips, bring your hands to your heart. Now rise up and straighten your legs. As you breathe out, bring your heels behind your toes, hinge from your hips, come all the way down. Let your head hang heavy. Let your spine release, creating more space as you stretch the backs of your legs, your inner thighs. Deepen your breath. All right, come up to a halfway lift. So nice flat back looking down at your at the floor. And then we're gonna take some side lunges. So first let's take a side lunge to the back of our mat. So point your toes out to an angle, walk your hands over. You can hold here with your hands on the floor or if you wanna play with your balance, you can bring your hands to your heart. Either way, the focus here is on the opening in the low back and the hips, inner thighs. Complete your exhale. Okay, let's take a side lunge to the front of our mat. You can walk your hands over, bend your opposite leg, bring your hands to your heart to play with your balance a little bit, or you can keep them on the floor if you don't feel balanced or steady here. Either way, you're getting that stretch. Are you continuing to breathe deeply in and out through your nose? All right, if your hands are at your heart, you can bring them back to your mat. Come back into standing straddle splits. So both legs are straight now, heels behind your toes. Finish your exhale here. As you breathe in, come back to star pose. As you exhale, return to warrior two facing the front of your mat. Keep your leg bent this time, reverse warrior. Come all the way down, low lunge, step back, high plank, lower, chaturanga. Press up to upward facing dog, press back to downward facing dog. Breathe in, lift your left leg up, step forward, low lunge, crescent lunge. Breathe in, eagle arms, left arm underneath right. Exhale. Breathe in, back bend. Breathe out, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Left hand to your shin or the floor. Right hand up toward the ceiling. Your body is open to the side of the room, the side wall, the side of your mat. Breathe in to star, toes point out, palms face out, fingers spread wide. Exhale to squat. Bring your hands to your heart, sink down into your hips. Inhale to star. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge to the back of your mat. Hands on the floor or hands at your heart. Come through center, side lunge to the front of your mat. Standing straddle splits to the center of your mat. Star, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. High plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog downward facing dog at the pace of your own 
breath, linking our movements to our breathing. Put your right leg up, step forward to lunge, crescent lunge, eagle arms, right arm underneath left, breathe in here. Moving from here into eagle arm airplane. So step onto your right foot. Lift your left foot up off the floor, bringing your left leg parallel to your mat. Set your left foot back down. Bring your shoulders over your hips. Unwind your arms, warrior two. Reverse triangle, triangle pose. Star, prayer squat. Star, another chest expansion here. Bring your hands behind your back. Press your, interlace your hands, fingers, press your fists down, look up. Bring your heels behind your toes, hinge forward. Bring your hands up and over the back of your head. One more breath. Breathe in halfway, lift, release your hands, bring them to the floor. Exhale, side lunge to the back of your mat. Low lunge to the front of your mat. Standing straddle splits to the center of your mat. Star, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior. Let's take another balance pose. So half moon pose, step onto your right foot, lift your left leg so it's parallel to your mat. If half moon is not accessible, take extended side angle, just leaving your left foot on the floor. Bring your left hand to the mat, level your hips. So left hip in line with your right. Breathe in, lift your left foot a little bit higher for standing splits pose. Breathe out, Jiva squat. Bring your left knee behind your right. Squat down, squeeze in. Breathe in, standing splits. Breathe out, bring your left knee behind your right. Squat down and then sit. Take your sitting bones to your mat. As you breathe in, lift your left arm up. As you breathe out, half floor to the fishes pose. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Look out over your right shoulder. Unwind from your twist. Release your arm. Bring your right knee to meet your left heel, your shin onto the floor. Keep your left hand on the floor. We're gonna open up the fronts of the hips. So lift your hips up, reach your right arm up, and then maybe look back. Okay, release back down onto your seat. Bring your right foot out in front of you. Take your hands, interlace them underneath your right foot, lift your right foot up off the floor for heron pose. Keep your shoulders lowered away from your ears as you look out past your toes. This nice, deep hamstring stretch here. Okay, now release your right foot back to the floor and you're just gonna kind of propel yourself forward. Come all the way back to standing splits, lifting your left leg up. Step back, low lunge. High plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, lift your left leg up. Step forward, crescent lunge, eagle arms, left arm underneath right. Eagle arm airplane, step onto your left foot. Bring your right leg parallel to your mat. Balancing here, steady on your left foot. And that nice stretch in your upper back at the same time. Set your right foot down. Bring your elbows back in line with your shoulders. Unwind warrior two. Reverse triangle. Triangle. 
star squat star standing straddle splits halfway lift we're going to take wide legged down dog walk your hands forward two hands in line with one another press your hips back really big shoulder and chest opener take another full breath in wide legged downward facing dog Walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. Halfway lift, flat back. Side lunge to the back of your mat. Side lunge to the front of your mat. A lot of mobility here in the, in the hips. Standing straddle splits to the center of your mat. Let your head hang heavy. Rise up to five pointed stars. Sweep your arms up overhead, palms face out, toes point out. Warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Half moon pose if you'd like to balance. Stepping onto your left foot, lifting your right leg up parallel to your mat. Toes point out to the side. Body is open to the side. Two shoulders and two hips in line with one another. Bring your right hand to your mat. Bring your right hip in line with your left. Breathe in, lift your right heel a little bit higher. Breathe out, Jiva squat, right knee behind left, squat down. Breathe in, standing splits. And right knee behind left, squat down, 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 down to a seat. Half Lord of the Fishes pose, have both sitting bones grounded. Lift your right arm up, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Palm faces out. Twisting from the base of your spine through the crown of your head. You can rotate your chin toward your shoulder, looking out over the back of your shoulder toward the back of your mat. Come back to center. Release your elbow from your knee. Bring your left foot to the floor, heel pressing down. Take your hands, interlace them underneath your left foot. Lift your left foot up off the floor. You can hold here or straighten your leg for heron pose. Looking past your toes, lowering your shoulders away from your ears. All right, you're gonna bring your left foot back to the floor and you're just gonna press your way forward all the way to standing splits pose. Lift your right leg high. Step back, low lunge. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Press up and open the front of the body in upward facing dog and press back to downward facing dog. Look toward your hands. Now you're gonna step walk or float both feet the outside of both hands. Coming back into Malasana. Deep, deep squat here. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of strengthening from this posture. So strengthening the hips and the low back. Keep your elbows connected to your knees. Lift your hips to the height of your knees. So your back is flat. You're looking down at your mat. Nice long spine. Lower your hips down. Now work with your breath. You're gonna breathe in to that halfway lift, flat back. Breathe out, lower your hips. And again, lift and lower with your breath. Keep going. Are you still moving? Even though I'm not telling you to? Probably feeling some heat in your hips. It's good for your hips. Okay, now hold here in a static squat. Lifting through the crown of your head, shoulders away from your ears. Try not to hunch and round forward if you're tired. Stay lifted. All right, 
we're going to move into a core strengthener. Bring your hands behind you onto your mat, sit your hips down, and lift your legs up for boat pose. Keep holding. All right, now we're gonna release boat, cross over the ankles, plant your hands, step back to high plank, hold for three, two, one. Now keep your toes tucked under. You're gonna take an upward dog variation with your toes tucked under, so just release your hips down toward the floor. So we're opening up those hip flexors now. Now from here, press back to downward facing dog. So taking a little core strength there. Okay, now kind of ripple your way forward. So lift your heels, round your spine, all the way to plank pose, and then all the way to that up dog variation. And press back, downward facing dog. Two more times. Lift your heels, ripple your spine, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One last time. Lift your heels, ripple your way forward, upward facing dog with toes tucked, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up, come into half pigeon. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to release. Big hip opener here. Deep breaths. And one more inhale and exhale here in half pigeon pose. Return onto the palms of your hands. Tuck your back toe under. Lift your right leg up and back for three-legged dog. Open your hip, bend your leg, hold here, or flip your dog, bringing your right foot to the floor, lifting your hips, looking back. Make your way back to downward facing dog. And let's take half pigeon on the other side. So lift your left leg up, half pigeon. Come onto your left shin. Lengthen as you inhale. Release as you exhale. Three breaths in half pigeon. Listen to the sound of your breath flowing in and out through your nose. Press back up onto the palms of your hands, tuck your back toe under. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift up and back, open your hip and bend your leg. If you'd like to, you can flip and take your left foot to the floor. Lift your hips up, reach your arm back, look back toward your fingertips. Wild thing. Return to downward facing dog. Shift forward to high plank pose. Lower down onto your stomach. Bring your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Bring your arms to a capital T position. As you breathe in, lift your arms and legs up off of the floor. Press back through the balls of your feet. Keep your neck long. So avoiding crunching or lifting your head too high. All right, our release and counter pose is extended child's pose. We were here earlier in class. Bring your toes to touch, knees wide, hips to heels. Okay, so this is a really deep hip and low back opener.
One more breath in extended child's pose. Walk your hands back toward your shoulders, sit up, cross over your ankles, and lower down onto your back. Bring your knees toward your chest and bring your knees to the right for a reclined twist. You can take your right hand on your left knee, extend your left arm to the side, look toward your left fingertips. As you breathe in, come through center. Release your knees to the left, extend your arm to the right. Take your left hand on top of your right knee, look to the right. Come back through center. Separate your knees and feet for happy baby. You can hold on to your thighs, calves, feet, toes. You can rock side to side. Just ironing out your low back, stretching your hips. Bring your knees back toward your chest. Hug your knees in tight. Bring your forehead toward your knees. Squeeze it all in. And release to our final posture, Shavasana. Legs long, arms long. Feet fall open, palms face up, fingers relax, toes relax. Breathe in through your nose, hold it at the top. Breathe out through your mouth. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. that you have time to extend your Shavasana. If you do not, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bring the movement back into your body by rolling your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms overhead, press your toes down, breathe in deeply for a full body stretch, roll onto your side. your way up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart. Today, as you move forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.